So, I was doing a little experimental Ambient Friday with Platts as the main macro oscillator and using BIA for some percussion and plonk with the kick snare bass X fed into Bionic Luster and Kermit modulating that. Um, I was going to use Mimeophone, but I wanted to explore different drum models on Platts and then using PAM as a sequencer. So on PAM, what I like is you have so many options to set up a sequence, like you got your BPM, of course, here if you zoom in here, you got your BPM. And if you, the way PAM works is you have these triggers that go to trigger outputs, like here I have one going to the trigger output on Plonk, one going on BIA, and another going to pitch, and other patch points on Plats, which you can create different rhythms. So what I did is I went into PAM and the way it works is on each track um, trigger so you create your division. So for example um, multiply a clock multiplier so if I want to do a uh, something different I'm going to change that. Right so you can create you can let me turn it down a bit. You can create different clock multipliers and dividers, and you have a lot of choices. You can turn it off on. You can create it based on a wave shape, control voltage, and um, so you don't have to go buy a bunch of clock dividers and multipliers. Like I have a clock divider I never use because now I got Pam. Pam does it so much better on eight tra eight trigger points. 
So you can create your clock dividers. And then if you hold the button down, uh, you got your wave shape. So so I change, if I change the wave shape, see it sounds really different. Random. So you got all these choices for wave shapes that you wanna use. And then you can go your levels, you know, what you're gonna do for. Then you have the whole offset on the wave shape, wave shape and stuff that changes it. Um, delay, you know, if you're gonna, when it will begin and so forth. And that definitely changes the rhythm, it makes it sound way different, which is really cool. Um, and then the uh, other thing, you have your Euclidean patterns. So you got your E step. So if I want to make it 32, 32 I think is the max. And then you have your trigger when it's going to do the hits every so many beats. So you can do that. And then when it's going to... You can change all that. All this stuff you can change. It's really cool. Um, so you can create a lot of variation in your patterns and then how, how it's going to loop and so forth. You can quantize it based on different scales like the um, pentatonic minor. So now, um, now it sounds a lot different because I've changed so many things. Um, and you can mute them. You can save it. You can use logic. So do an and on the second trigger so you can change so many things here if you do clock delay multiplier or whatever it's pretty amazing um it's like now it sounds really different um compared to what i had so now if i do go back to yeah sometimes it's kind of tricky it takes a little practice so if you look it shows the blinking light where it's going to fire as well so yeah, I'm really happy. I like um, messing around with this. And then you can, of course, if you have an issue, um, if you want to reset it, I think what happens when you do a reset, let me see here, I think you have to do another hard press. There you go. Slop is kind of like a human factor. So, right, and then I think it goes back to what you, what you had. If I'm understanding, yep. Yeah, it goes back to what you, what you had before. I didn't have anything for these because I just was messing around with it earlier. So yeah, so clock divider, multiplier. Create a lot of variation. Mute that. So I'm really happy with Pamela Workout and Platts. It's a great combo for creating rhythms and so forth. I thought I was gonna have to buy another sequencer, but I can get by pretty good on this for just a small setup. And then I have the Varigate in my other setup. So I think as far as sequencers go, I'm pretty good for now. And then I also have the No Control and SQ1. So I have, you know, four different ways to sequence my patterns. So, um, and these are really good modules. Um, the one that's been the trickiest to really get good tones out of, I like it, is the Curse of Iterotas. Um, it's not bad, but it's a little trickier than say BIA or Plonk or Plats to get um, techno type tools out of it. It's good for ambient drones and also for industrial though. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video.